Yeah, but listen, Kanye loves to stir the pot. Yeah. So nothing that he says ever surprises me right. at all. But you know, I wish no, no, I wish nothing but the best yeah. to him and to his family and to everyone, to Pete He's and so to everyone so involved, especially on today, which is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, which for is love. such a, like, a good day, like spread love. Yeah, I mean. But you've never heard that rumor. That no, is not I've, a thing that ever happened. I have never heard of that. Yeah, you never heard that from your sister. No, never in my never in my life. But we can love to make things up. What do you say to Kanye for spreading something? I think that it's everyone that doesn't my phone is I'm never gonna tell you how to live your life. Example in my own life, yeah. And so that I would never spread rumors about people and say Try to stay in your own lane, but live your life with yeah. integrity and try to inspire other people to do the same. That's as much as we can, can do, right? Can I ask you this? Some people say that Pete Davidson's only dating Kim Kardashian for clout. If you knew Pete Davidson, is that something he would ever do? Is that who he is? I mean, honestly, <laughs> Kim Kardashian is one of the hottest people on the planet. I love her with my entire heart. Yeah. There are a billion reasons to date Kim Kardashian, <laughs> so I think that that is silly. That's silly. I think that he's... Got great, but there's a lot of good reasons to date Kim. Yeah. I mean, I'm gay and I would date Kim. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if she, I'm, I have game, I'm engaged. That's yes. my fiance. But if Kim Kardashian said, Frankie Grande, I want to date you, I'd be like, sorry, Hale, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're, we're going on a break for a bit. <laughs> Are we going to have a bachelor party? A bachelor party? Actually, we're not doing a bachelor party, you know? Oh. We're just like COVID, you know? Are you getting married where you first met? Harry can't boil the Harry Harry's. We're not getting married no, there. Closed that's down a really now. cute it idea. Closed yeah, down. Yeah, it didn't yeah. survive COVID. What, but... Who are you getting to perform at the wedding? Oh, that's a surprise. Oh. You'll have to find out. Is it not your sister? Um, well, it's all a surprise. <laughs> You'll have to tune in. Good to see Thank you. Bye, Thank guys. you so much. I wish my car was cleaner. It looks fabulous. It had dirt on it from the we parked anyway. Bye. Bye. Who got him? No, it's got me. That'd be nice earring. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Matching earring. Oh. Yeah, cute. Cute. Yeah. Why sapphire? Um, because they're pretty. And they're paint, so it works. Pretty, yeah, we just wanted something yeah. pink for Valentine's Day. I love that. Sapphire yeah. blue though. Yeah, pink ones. Got oh, there's. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, they're cool. Oh my god, how fabulous! Yeah. Bye. 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 juggling a lot. A lot of people are out of work, facing economic uncertainty, really struggling. So all of these stressors tend to exacerbate any cracks in the relationship or any struggles. So mm -hmm. the first is to be aware of what your triggers are when you're getting triggered, I, I like to think of, if, if you think about your anger and your frustration, let's go from zero to 10. 10 being your screaming at your partner and you're I'm saying- I'm 10 usually, unstable. I'm usually at 10. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's why we want to keep you out of a relationship for a while <laughs> until you learn some skills. But, and zero being like, you're totally calm, cool, like hanging on the couch, feeling good. You want to look at what is that point of no return like as your anger mounts as your frustration mounts and we all have you know our frustrations on a day-to-day -day basis you want to be taking your temperature you want to go okay what is that point of no return for a lot of people maybe a seven or an eight let's say yours is an eight mm -hmm. what you want to do is be taking your temperature and checking in and going okay where am i on this scale right now okay you know what when you get about two points lower than your breaking point so if you're an eight when you hit a six it's time to take a timeout. I really like timeouts for adults. I don't like them very much for kids, which is a whole other thing. But to be able to say to your partner, plan it in advance. Hey, I heard this therapist talk with Ryan Fu, and she recommended couples take a timeout when things are getting too heated. Because what happens is if you're too hot when you have the conversation, it's not gonna be productive. It's a waste of your time. People just get their feelings hurt. People say terrible things to each other. Take a time out. When you hit a six, hey, I think I'm too worked up to have a productive conversation. Let's take a break. Let's meet back in the kitchen an hour or let's sleep on this and talk about it in the morning. You're not abandoning your partner. You're not screaming and running out the door, but saying, hey, 
I'm too hot right now. Like, I can't talk about this right now, but I do want to work this out. Let's talk about this later. So she's about to throw that beer bottle at me. I'm like, let's take a time out here. Two points <laughs> below the beer bottle throwing. That's when you want to take the time out. Beautiful. Um, since the COVID lockdown, the 